question comes from Renaud Lavoie. Thanks, Jeff. Hi, Ben. Uh, thanks for being here. Uh, lots of energy uh, coming from that crowd uh, last night. Uh, obviously, it's been a while since we've seen that in Canada. Is that uh, something that you notice? And do you wish that it's going to be uh, close to the same in Montreal at one point? Yeah, obviously, the crowd last night was great creates an incredible atmosphere and um you know there's nothing like a bell center crowd and, um you know the more fans that we can have uh the better so um yeah we'll be happy with a good crowd in montreal thanks reno the next question comes from arpan basu uh thanks jeff uh hey good morning ben um Don mentioned last night after the game how the, the string of penalties sort of broke your rhythm as a team. How did you how did you see the way you were able to transition from your own end towards the offensive zone after that run of penalties in the second period? What did 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 Vegas change something in their approach to you, or did you guys just kind of lose something there? No, they obviously they got momentum rolling. They started, you know, they felt pretty good after uh they got their game kind of going there after a um, few minutes of the second period. And um, I don't know if it was, you know, a combination of us getting off our game and them kind of getting to theirs. Um, but, you know, it's something we'll make adjustments for and be ready for next game. Thanks, Arpan. The next question comes from Chantal McAbee. Thank you, Jeff. Ben, um, from what positive aspect of last night's game uh, can you build on for tomorrow's game? As a yeah, team? you know what? I liked, our, I liked the way we started. I liked the way we came out. That's something that's been a strength of ours, um, you know, throughout the playoffs is our start. So I would, I would take that and we start with that and um, try and keep that rolling forward throughout the game. Thanks, Chantal. The next question comes from Eric Ingalls. Hi, Ben. Um, how would you describe the challenge of facing their third line with, with Alex Tuck and, and Matthias Janmark? I know a lot of attention goes to the top two there, but that third line uh, seemed to do a lot of damage last night. Yeah, you know what? They got, they got three, three lines that can all, you know, really skate and, and uh, have skill. And then a fourth line that can, that can you know, wear you down and is, a, you know, three heavy guys. So, um those top three lines are, they all kind of move the same, a lot of speed, a lot of skill on the wings and, you know, the way they play kind of uh, promotes that the way they flip the puck out and have their forwards kind of taken off. So they use their, they use their speed pretty well. And um, that tuck line along with the, the other top two lines, they all kind of play a similar style. So um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be ready for that next game. We'll do a few more for Ben. The next question comes from Jonathan Bernier. Thank you, Jeff. Hello, uh, hello Ben. Uh, we all know that Jeff is a, a big piece of your defensive squad, Jeff Petrie. Uh, did his absence uh, as a bigger impact last night than, uh, than it was against the Jet, maybe just because of the way the, the, the Golden Knights are playing? Well, yeah, I mean, anytime you're missing one of your, you know, a key player, an important defenseman for us, it's... Uh, It hurts. Jeff's uh, Jeff's been great for us all year, and um, you know, starting a new series and uh, you know a team that skates as well as Vegas and Jeff's a great skater. Certainly, it uh, it would be great to have him out there. So it's it's definitely a, a big hole for us. Thank you, Jonathan. We'll do two more for Ben. The next question comes from Richard Labeck. Oh, hey Ben, I want to ask you. Um, obviously, both teams are in the same position here, but. Having not played a team for an entire year, uh, th does that make it more difficult to to uh, to adjust uh, here right away, or does does that not make any difference at all? Um, it doesn't really make a difference once you know once we've played each other once we kind of figure out what each team's trying to do. So I think, uh, yeah, no, I, I guess it doesn't really make a difference once you've played each other. You kind of you kind of know what your the other team's trying to do. Thanks, Richard. And our last question for Ben comes from J.P. Morosi. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, Ben. Ben, how would you describe the leadership style of Shea Weber and how he helps your club adjust and move on after a loss during the course of a playoff series? 
Yeah, I mean, she always he always has the right message to the group. Um, you know, we got a lot of leaders in there, but Shay especially, he's, you know, says the right things always and, and just leads by example with the way he plays and goes about his business every day. So, um, you know, he had the right message in the room last night and, and uh, we move forward. Thank you for your time, Ben. Thanks.